Welcome to Coco Beach, Florida, recognized mostly by its rich history on Florida's Space Coast and for being Orlando's closest beach with just about an hour's drive. This family-friendly beach town has plenty to explore. I'm Danny702 and today we are here at Coco Beach. We are going to be hitting a few must-do spots while you're here in Coco Beach, Florida. There is lots to do here, from sun, sea, to space, and it's all wrapped up in one destination. Join us as we hit the beach, grab some grub, and explore some of the other popular spots around town. Our first stop takes us to Westgate Cocoa Beach Pier. This is a historic and popular destination here at Cocoa Beach. A longtime entertainment center even during the boom time of the Space Coast. There's restaurants, shops, bars, and sometimes you can find live entertainment. The pier stretches 800 feet over the Atlantic Ocean. The beach around this area has lifeguards on duty as well as beach rentals and volleyball courts. I also read this spot is home of the best happy hour on Cocoa Beach, so it might be a good thing that this is our first stop of the day. Right away you see Sea Dog Snacks, which has things like ice cream and it looks like hot dogs. Across the way here is Keith's Oyster Bar. The pier is so large that there is a directory. Yeah, there's about 10 different shops and restaurants. I love this. They have signs and historical facts about some of the things around here, including the Westgate Cocoa Beach Pier. Like it says here, this was originally built in 1962. The pier shop is the first thing that you see when you get onto the pier, and this has gifts and souvenirs inside. You got a Cocoa Beach Pier t-shirt. That's pretty retro. cool. Yeah, yeah, it does look a little bit retro. Sunny, sunny California We've come sort of to the middle of the pier and here is the Boardwalk Bar. Check out these souvenir cups and the refillable. I like this one here. I'm loving this. Not only do you have the option of going up and sitting at the bar, but they also have outdoor tables right alongside the sides of the pier. Beachside view too. Oh yeah, this is a perfect place to come grab a drink. It looks like we're heading indoors, and here I see Pelican's Bar and Grill. Now you gotta make a little bit of a detour around the Pelican's Bar. It takes you right back outside, and then you can head down a little further down the pier. Even more outdoor seating, and then all the way at the end here is Ricky Tiki Tavern. Okay, now this looks really cool. It does look like sometimes there is a fee to get all the way out to the pier. Today, probably because it's a Monday and it's the slow season, there was no charge at all. It looked like it was about two to five dollars, maybe just depending on the season. Okay, legit, this is really, really awesome. This looks like the perfect place to grab a drink. Earlier I said the one in the middle was, eh, honestly, they're both probably great. There is a charge for parking in the parking lot by the pier for $15, but if you're lucky, you can find some spots like we did where it was $3 an hour. What might be the lesser known of all of our stops today, but one I am super excited for is the Florida Key Lime Pie Company. This is full of treats, including the famous Florida Key Lime Pie, which I thought was more of a South Florida thing, but I read they have the best among all of the state here. Okay, there are a ton of goodies in here, not just key lime. So many beers. They also do have key lime flavored beer. Coconut patties, they have original key lime and pina colada. Ooh, island rum, orange. Ooh, lots of flavors. Salt water taffy by the bulk. I already spotted the one that I would get, the birthday cake. Very cool, lots of locally made items. They've got like salt scrubs and sugar scrubs and local honeys. There's a whole area over here for ice cream. And lots of thing representing the other flavor Florida is known for, orange and citrus. Oh, that sounds good. Orange, honey mustard dipping sauce, orange dressing. God, there's a lot of choices here. I read online that they also are known for their cheesecake flavors. Turtle cheesecake sounds very, very interesting, but I think we're just gonna go with the classic because this is the Florida Key Lime Company. We're gonna go with a slice of key lime pie. Ooh, yeah, for $4.50. So I have never had key lime pie before. Eddie says he has, but he said he had it back in California. So I feel like that doesn't count. You gotta have Florida key lime, and we are at Florida Key Lime Company. So this is what sounds the best of all the state. Okay, that's what it see. says. I thought it was a pie, like an apple pie-ish, mm -hmm. somehow with lime, though that sounds extremely sour now that I think about it. But I didn't know it kind of looks like a cheesecake. And I love cheesecake. 
Especially if the crust is good, which I can already tell. It's got the graham cracker crust, so it's gonna look being pretty good. Wow. Whoa. Okay, yeah, that's good. Oh my gosh. That is a crazy flavor. That like punch of that citrusy lime. That was intense. <laughs> yeah, it's super limey. Super limey. Yeah, it's just like the texture of cheesecake. It's pretty good. It tastes like, like lime ice cream. Yeah, because it's cold. Yeah. yeah. Now, our next stop is literally right across the way. Not even across the street. Ron John Surf Shop is the largest surf shop in the world. The shop here at Coco Beach is the one of a kind facility. We go to the beach pretty often. Eddie has been looking for a boogie board for like months and we cannot find them at all, <laughs> which is really weird because we live in Florida and like we've stopped at so many Walmarts and how many other locations and we can't find them. Yeah, we haven't got a surf shop yet though. It's true. Do you think we'll have them here? For sure. <laughs> If they don't have them here, Eddie, it's just not meant to be. You might have to pick up surfing instead. Yeah, the first thing we see as we walk through the doors are a bunch of boogie boards. It's so massive that it could be considered an attraction within itself and a must-do here in Cocoa Beach. The 52,000 square feet store is filled with merchandise for surfing, skating, swimming, and beach essentials. It's kind of like Bass Pro Shops, but for the surfers and the beachgoers. Ron John's opened in New Jersey in 1961, but headed to Florida only two years years later. The logo and the name is recognized all around the world and now you can spot stores in multiple locations including Disney Springs. There's actually two buildings here and the smaller of the two is mostly rentals but there's also a surf museum inside. Right, you scored Eddie, you're scoring today. Yeah. We got another stop where you got something but this we need for our next stop because we're heading to the beach. Yeah. <laughs> you excited about finally getting a boogie board? Um yeah I mean we'll see how we can't do a beach video without actually hitting the beach. But we are here at Lori Wilson Park, and this is a popular spot for beachgoers and locals because this is one of the only spots along the beach where you can get free parking. I love these piers that are like kind of hidden, you know, like you can't see the beach at all. But you can sure hear those waves, so you know just beyond the bushes is a good time. <laughs> I'm super excited about getting on the beach right now. Beautiful day, too. This spot can get a little busy because of the free parking. We do come to Cocoa Beach often because, of course, it is pretty close to Orlando, but you can find some smaller spots, some quieter spots all alongside the beach where you might pay like $3 an hour for parking. We got our camp set up. Not very many people out here. I did say it could get crowded, but it is currently November 1st. So, you know, off season, but Florida is warm throughout the year. So there's definitely plenty of people here, but no one close to us. We set up a really great location. Now let's go feel this water. We're currently still in hurricane season, but we are at the very end of hurricane season. So, oh yeah, a little cooler than what we're used to during the summer. Woo! <laughs> Not as cold as the West Coast, but a little cold. I've always been a beach girl being from California. I was not until kind of recently that we started coming out here pretty often. We've, we found a new love for all things water, it seems like, even though we don't really know how to swim. We go to the springs pretty often, and we go to the beach pretty often. Being in Florida, the fact that you can go year round to any of those spots is a major plus. All right, we're on the GoPro now. GoPro vision means we can go a little further out into the water. I don't go too far in. Maybe we'll give the GoPro to Eddie so he can get a little bit more action. He's gonna be pretty busy on that boogie board though. Hilton Beach is a great spot to learn how to boogie board or to learn how to surf. Most of the time, the waves are pretty calm. I guess compared to the West Coast, but out here in Florida, this is kind of the spot where the waves can get pretty choppy once in a while. Very different from the last beach video that we did over on the East Coast where there were no waves whatsoever. <laughs> We're a little bit more used to this kind of a vibe when it comes to the beaches. Though both on the Atlantic and on the Gulf, the beaches are beautiful here in Florida. I can't wait to explore even more.
The city of Cocoa Beach was established on June 5th, 1925 and was incorporated as a city on June 29th, 1957. But Cocoa Beach really came to life during the 60s because of the America's Space Program. NASA is about 15 miles away and the city of Cocoa became home to those who came to Florida to work at the space program and their families. Cocoa Beach is not only a very proud beach town, but they're also a very proud space town. And really, it still is a very proud town. Lots of people that work at Kennedy Space Center still call Cocoa Beach their home. The Space Center is definitely another must do. Like we cannot do a Cocoa Beach video without mentioning the Space Center, but that's gonna have to be a video all on its own. We hope to come back at some point to explore Kennedy Space Center by itself. It's fun. It's fun? Yeah, my first time ever trying that. You've never been on a boogie board? Even in uh, California? No. What? That's insane. I've even been on a biggie board when I was a kid. I don't know. Oh man. I was able to catch like a couple of waves already. Yeah. Just, uh, I can see why people like it. I know, it's fun. Yeah. Good job. The wave just hits you from the back and like it just carries you in. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> yeah, you just get inside, get pity. You get pity, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I got pity. You can see the pier off in the distance, so. We gotta hold real still and zoom all the way. How far do you think we are? Oh, uh, I don't know, a couple miles. I would say maybe two. Two miles max? Yeah, I don't Here. think we're that far. Google map it and check it out. All right, after catching all those waves, Eddie, are you hungry? Yeah, I'm working up an appetite. I found a really good spot that has some pretty decent reviews and it's just a couple blocks away so we'll head there now. When I was looking at places to eat here in Cocoa Beach, coconuts on the beach came up quite a few times. They have some pretty decent reviews and the menu looked quite yummy and it is beachside. Eddie, you got your Corona already? Yeah. I don't know what I'm, I think I'm just gonna go with lemonade for now, but you said that the menu looks really good? Yeah. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Like some fish offerings, like this mahi sandwich, and then they have like a mahi, just like with mango salsa, and then they got steak, they got nice. fish and chips, they got tacos with um, either shrimp, Ooh. mahi, or tuna. So, all right, so, there's a lot to choose from. The base is close, the Air Force base. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Oh, I'm kind of in love with this restaurant already. Uh, I took a peek at the menu. There is a ton, like Eddie said. Oh my gosh, specialty entrees. They've got a lot, a lot of different types of fish, even a lobster dinner. Or you can go with like chicken tenders. They have fish and chips. I think Eddie's not gonna get it this time around. Sandwiches and burgers, soups and salads, wraps. Holy cow, I don't know what to choose. I ordered these shrimp tacos. I got them blackened. That's what the server said is the best way to order it. It also came with a side of rice and beans. It smells really, really good. It looks delicious. Eddie, you got the mango mahi? Mm hmm Blackened. Blackened mango mahi. Also came with... Mango salsa. comes with jasmine rice and black beans. Oh, that looks good too. It smells so good. Let's dig in. It's delicious. You liked it? Mm -hmm. It looks very flavorful, especially with the mango in there. Yeah, I love mango. Mine has been very, very good too. I've had one taco so far. There's a lot going on in it. There's like corn and lettuce and of course the shrimp. It's excellent. They comp The flavors complement each other very, very well. It looks like the Disney Dream is setting sail. Oh yeah, shot right in between the palm trees. That honestly was a perfect spot for dinner, perfect location. I really enjoyed coconuts on the beach. We had a really great server. The food was delicious. Honestly, everything about it was excellent. I also wanted to show that there is beach access. So just right behind me is coconuts on the beach. And then right out here is beach. So literally beach side. They even have a whole indoor section. The outside was just about half of it. Look, the inside's lit up. It looks really cool inside too. But when you're at the beach, you gotta do the patio. And there's even more choices over here on the same little strip that Coconut on the Beach is. There's also a bar at the here, I think it's called Tropics. And on the opposite side of Coconuts on the Beach is a place called a Beach Shack, 
live music Friday and Saturday. Just a handful of things that you can do while you're in town. There is so much to do here. You can easily fill up a couple of days visiting Cocoa Beach. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I love you. Peace.